Okay, this is the acids and bases question from grade 11, November 2015. It says, when sulfuric acid reacts with water, it ionizes in two steps as shown in the two balanced equations below. So step one is the sulfuric acid plus water goes to a hydronium ion and this HSO4 minus anion. Then in the second step, the HSO4 minus anion gives up its second proton when it meets water to form the sulfate ion and water. Okay, so it says here, define an acid in terms of the lowery Bronsted theory. So that one's easy. An acid is a proton donor. Remember, a proton is just an H+. Now it says, write down the formula of the conjugate base of HSO4-. minus. So if you want the conjugate base, then it means HSO4- minus is acting as an acid. Remember that if you're going to talk about a conjugate base and acid pair, the only difference is an H+. Plus. The one with an H+, plus goes to the other, and you can look at it in both directions. If you want the conjugate acid, and its corresponding base, okay? So if we are looking here, a conjugate base is if HSO4 acts as an acid. So if we take a proton off HSO4 minus, we will end up with the sulfate ion SO4, 2 minus. So similarly, if it wants the conjugate acid of HSO4 minus, it means, means HSO4 minus is acting as a base and accepting a proton. So if we say HSO4 minus plus a proton, we end up with sulfuric acid, H2SO4. And then usually we write this as aqueous. Now it says you a substance that acts as an amphalite in these reactions. Now, usually when you see the word amphalite, you're pretty safe putting down water. But in this instance, you are not safe putting down water. Because look what happens to the water in both of these equations. In both of these equations, the water forms the hydronium ion and accepts a proton, so the water is acting like a base in both of these. It is nowhere here acting like an acid. So the thing that is the amphalite here is this ion HSO4-, which is in aqueous solution. Okay, Because in one equation, we've got... This linkage, okay, where it is the conjugate base, this side is the conjugate base, and in this second equation, this side, it is an acid. So it's the amphalite here. It says a few drops of bromothymol blue indicator are added to a potassium hydroxide solution in a beaker. A dilute sulfuric acid solution is now gradually added to the solution until the color of the indicator changes. Write down the type of reaction that takes place. Well, we've got potassium hydroxide, which is the base, and we've got sulfuric acid, which is an acid. So this is a neutralization reaction. It is not a precipitation reaction because all potassium salts are soluble. It is not a redox reaction because nothing in this reaction changes its oxidation number. Then it says a balanced equation for the reaction that takes place. Well, I have my friend KOH, potassium hydroxide. And because it says solution, we should write aqueous next to it. And then we have a dilute sulfuric acid solution. So that's H2SO4, also aqueous. These are my reactants. Going to a salt, which is going to be potassium sulfate and water. So we should know an acid plus a base gives you a salt and water. So we now need to balance this. If we have a look, the sulfate ion is SO42 minus. Can you see them over here? The sulfate ion is SO42 minus. Potassium is in group one, so it only has one positive charge. So we need two potassium atoms, or two potassium ions, sorry, per one sulfate ion to make this a neutral molecular formula, ionic formula. So that means if I've got two potassiums on the right-hand side, I need two potassiums on the left-hand side, okay? But now if we count my hydrogens, I've got one, two, three, four hydrogens on the left, which means I need four hydrogens on the right. 
and then I think we are balanced. I'm not entirely sure that this reaction is balanced in the memo. I think that this 2 is missing on the memo, but you have to have two potassiums for the potassium sulfate. So you should put your state symbols here. This is aqueous, and this is not aqueous, but in fact, a liquid. Okay, now it says to you the color change of the indicators. If they want the color change, we need two different colors. And if you remember, bromothymol blue is blue in basic solution, and it was originally in the potassium hydroxide, which is the base. So its color change is blue to yellow in acidic solution. So it's blue in the base and yellow in the acid. If this is an exact neutralization, it actually goes green, but the color change for the indicator is usually written as blue to yellow. And then it says the name of the salt, so you may not write the formula. The name of the salt is potassium sulfate. And you can spell this as sulfate like that, or sulfate like this. The one is the old-fashioned way, the one with the F is the more correct way to spell it according to the Union of Pure and Applied Chemists. And that is the end of this question. No calculation in this lovely question.